We love it when our friend Kylie Scales is here. She is teaching us three different ways you can make a tasty and healthy tuna burger at home. Perfect in time for the Lenten season. Kylie, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. You bet. We love having you on the show. Yeah, so a lot of people are looking for meat alternatives, yep. whether it's if they don't want to eat meat on Friday during Lent or if they just want something healthier to a burger. Yeah. So we are talking about tuna mushroom burgers today. Okay, all right. Tuna yeah. mushroom, okay, And nice. so we're going to, you can be, also I should mention you can do it with either fresh, frozen, or canned tuna. A okay. lot of Ooh. options there, a lot of different price points. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Makes it easier in yeah. some ways. Yeah. So this recipe starts with roasted mushrooms. Okay. So did you know that mushrooms are 50% water? No, I, I didn't know, know that. that. Yes. No. So oh. we need to roast the mushrooms first in order to get that concentrated umami flavor. Ooh, okay. Yeah. yeah, and also if you don't roast your mushrooms ahead of time, the water will evaporate when they're in the burger and it may cause your burger to fall yeah. apart. <gasps> yeah. Okay, that's good to know. So yeah. anyway, Super easy, 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay. Boom, this is what your mushrooms will look like. Nice. Awesome. And then we're going to mix it with um, some red curry paste. This is the biggest flavor boost in these burgers. Okay. Really? Red curry paste, a little bit of shallot, garlic, and I like to do that in the food processor. Nice. It's a little bit easier than chopping yeah. it. Okay. And so you just want the mushrooms to resemble like ground beef crumbles. Okay. okay. And then, so this is where we uh, take different paths a little bit. If you're doing the canned Tuna, yeah. you're going to need to add a binder. Binders are something that just helps the patty stick together. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to use eggs and a little bit of panko breadcrumbs nice. in the mixture if we're doing canned tuna. Okay. If we're doing fresh or frozen tuna, also I should mention the frozen tuna needs to be thawed first. Oh yeah, right. that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. but if you're doing fresh or frozen tuna, you don't need that binder because okay. the tuna is a little bit sticky and tacky and it'll hold its shape together. Okay. So this yeah. is what the mixture looks like for a canned tuna. Okay. Okay. Mixture okay. Mixture here. And I'm going to show you how I form my patties. Nice. It's super simple. Oh, here. I love this. You can either do this with, you can do it like how you would like a burger. You can do it like make a ball and then flatten it. Yeah. Or what I like to do is I take this ring here and I just kind of press it down, pack nice. it down in there. Yeah. And then we'll pull the ring away. And then we have this patty here and you could either keep oh, it thick like perfect. that yeah. or you can press it down a little bit to kind of flatten it and then you're going to want to freeze that okay. for about 20 minutes just so it's a little bit firmer and then you can either grill it you yeah. can put it in a uh, baking pan or you can do it in the air fryer okay nice oh, that yeah. would be a good way to do it so that's all there is to it okay. really now i think what really makes this recipe stand out is the wasabi slaw oh come on now you're talking oh, my that's language some flavor now. Over yeah. there. That yeah. adds a lot of flavor okay. too um that's just wasabi paste a little bit of cilantro um greek yogurt and then some lime juice and uh -huh. i just topped our burgers with that right nice. that sounds like something you would oh love. i gotta get in there yeah, yeah. so okay. this is this, you can tell a little bit of a color difference. That's a fresh ahi tuna burger. This one right here? Yes, and this one is a canned one. Okay. Now, if you don't want to do a burger, but you still want to have that tuna taste and you're still doing like a meat-free Friday, yeah. you can just cook a, a tuna steak nice. on the grill. Just yep. sear it like 60 seconds on each side because you want the tuna to be pretty rare. And then you can top it with the wasabi slaw and you still have your... um. Oh, man. Meat free burger I'm there. Excited. I'm getting That's in. nice. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Now, what's great for everybody watching is we will have Kylie's recipes up on mm. the website. Because I know a lot of times you guys are looking for her recipe afterwards and yeah. it flashes up really quick on the screen. Well, don't worry. We've got it on the website. What do you think? It is amazing. So good. Thank you so, so much. So good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. And it doesn't have like kind of the fishy taste. No, it's just, it doesn't have it's a great. fishy taste. Oh, it's yeah, so good. So if that's a deterrent, don't let it be. Yeah. It's really, really good. Go get the recipe Thank at you. Kylie's Kitchen Blog .com. We love having you on the show. Thank Kylie, you you're so awesome. Fun. I love being here. Yeah. Always learning a lot from you. I'm actually a big fan of this, so I didn't know that you had to cook mushrooms like that. There so. You go. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Learn you're something welcome. every time yeah. you come on. <laughs> Thank you, Kylie. Thanks, Kylie. Still to come, our friend Christopher Lloyd. The Film Yap is here. He's going to share his reviews of the newest movies that are out in theaters right now and on demand. We love it when he's here. We'll be right back, friends. Stick around. It's great.